been a long time coming. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Um, as always, you can find me on Instagram over at the House of Langford as well as Overall Sews. I'm also on Ravelry as Mad X Stitcher. Um, hello and welcome back to all my uh, subscribers and any new peeps out there. Hello and welcome to you too. Um, it has been a long time coming, as I've just said. The Wolf and Mabby Wall Show was in January. A lot of things have happened since January. And in today's climate, I thought it'd be nice to just do something a little bit bright and cheery, just to lift people's spirits a little bit. So I'm going to show you what I got at the show and what we did. So, yes, we actually stayed overnight at the Marriott Hotel, which is where it's held in Waltham Abbey, the UK, and had a really nice evening. The room is massive. I mean, there's probably bigger rooms out there, but we had two king size beds in there so we had one each so I went with my best friend Emma and we just we slept really well actually as well um I was actually weaving all the ends in on my granny square blanket cardigan I call it my Joseph cardigan though because it's every single color of the rainbow um I was weaving the ends in for that the night before the actual show so that I could enter into the competition the next day um so it is held on the Sunday I believe it's what second or third Sunday of the month um and it goes all day and there's loads of vendors it takes over four rooms at the Marriott Hotel as well as the smaller rooms for workshops and things like that and it was just a really really nice weekend for us we had a really lovely breakfast as well this massive amount of food though there was all your pastries you had cereals you had all cooked foods all buffet styles you just go up and help yourself fill up your plate as much as you like they bring you tea and coffee yeah there was a lot of food involved <laughs> so i only went there with the intention of picking up an order so something i'd ordered at the knitting and stitching show at ali pali from emily cross ceramics um so that was our first stop and the other thing that i had the intention of buying was a skein of yarn from helen at the wall kitchen and I did both of those things and more. So first up, the bowl, the yarn bowl that I actually ordered at Ali Pali, which I then had to pick up and pay for at Waltham Abbey Wool Show. And these are custom made for me and Emma. We both got one each, the exact same design, except I have red in mine and she has purple. So this is the inside and it is sparkly. Look at it. It's so sparkly. Um, I just love red. Red is my favourite colour. I don't wear a lot of red. Maybe because I don't tend to find clothing in this colour. But there we go. Um, yes, so this is to add to my yarn ball collection. Um, and it will house a project very soon. Um, especially if we get isolated. So yeah. This will come in handy very much so um but when we actually went to leave i found another one that kind of went with it and couldn't leave that either but i had to pick up the baby bowl this one's just all red and she did offer me the chance to order a mini one that actually matched properly with the sparkle on the outside as well but i just couldn't leave this one behind so this one came home with me too and it's nice, it fits in my hand, look. It's perfect for a mini skein, um, or several mini skeins actually, if I'm working on a couple of things. Um, yeah. Let's just hope I don't use them as pin pots. <laughs> no, they would definitely be used for projects and holding my yarn. So looking forward to using these. So, at the end I will put some videos up that I took of the day and some pictures as well. Um, just so you can kind of get an idea of what it's like there and how busy it gets so let's get going now the first thing we like to do when we enter other than go see Emily is to actually go and stop by Hey J Yarn now she has really really cute way of getting mini skeins um, into the world and you're not actually knowing what they are so we have a lucky dip 
we did this last year as well last year was the first time that we went and i picked up i think it was just me that picked up a um a lucky dip but this time around we each bought one for each other as well as our own um now what i did is i got the majority of all of these caked up at the day on the day as well um because they record all of the miles that it adds up to in terms of how much yarn they wind so i did um get them to take these up for me so this is the first one so this is really lovely tones of green purple there's some burgundies there's some very light blues popping in and out of there as well um so that is my little my first mini skein from hey J yarns and it is superwash merino and 25 percent nylon it is 25 grams which gives you 85 oh come on there we go 85 meters and what they actually did for me when they wound all my yarn up was put all the ends um, in there for me to keep hold of as well because I like to make pom poms with them and tassels for my projects. So that was the first one that we bought. We did go back at the very end to get another one which isn't caked up, so I'll show you that one at the end. Um, but in the meantime, we're then opposite. Um, sort myself out. Opposite HJ yarns there was some fluffy things when i say fluffy things <coughs> pom -poms. i mean look I, I had to get both rainbows they are slightly different though this one has got tones of black on the tips and this one it doesn't this one's more white in tone but not just that I believe this one, the one without the black tips, came with this gorgeousness that is a beautiful skein of yarn. I mean, look at all those colours. It is just a proper rainbow and it goes so well with that pom-pom. I think the idea is that you make a hat and then put the pom-pom on top. So it comes as like a little kit. Let's have a look. This is called Unicorn Ooh. and the pom-pom is Pastel Rainbow and these are both from, oh no, the yarn is from Fibre Fox and the pom-pom is from The Crafty Bird. Now I've actually got The Crafty Bird's um, business card in here as well and oh my god, it's rose gold, it's sparkly. The crafty bird, look at that shine. I mean, what can I say about that? It's guitar. So that was £20 for the pom pom and the skein of yarn, and then I bought the other pom pom separately. Um, so, yes, it is Merino DK. So that means 100% Merino. That's what I look. No, it says 25% superwash merino, 25% nylon, so it's 225 metres per 100 grams in the colourway of unicorn. And there's a little fibre box. So cute. So then I have, these three all tend to go together, which is quite surprising. Um, I think this might have been the first one that I actually bought before the mini and the um, pom pom madness. And it is just amazing it is sparkly so there is a bit of sparkle in there and it is just blacks and whites and look and that will just go with anything where's the tag for this one i've stuffed them all inside there we go so this is by snuggly star yarns i wondered what that was for which is this one snuggly star yarn they are on etsy um, as Snuggly Stars, stars Yarn, Snuggly Stars Yarns on Etsy and on Instagram as well. And this is Burst Pipe Sparkle DK Base, 75% Superwash Merino, 20% Nylon, and 5% Silver Stellina. It is 212 meters for 100 grams. 
and I got this because I figured it will go with quite a lot and I do actually have a whole set of grey minis that I may have shown you in the past I can't remember um that I'm hoping to try and I got last year actually from more for my real show which could go with that so that has a project in mind and then obviously went to visit Helen at the wall kitchen and this kind of had to come home with me because it's just totally psychedelic and I mean look seriously look look at that neon and it goes so well with this one I think the only difference is this one is DK this one is not now I don't often work with sock weight or fine yarns let's have a look what this one is before I go saying it's sock weight and it's probably not because I don't know my yarns but yes this is from the wall kitchen so this is Helen at the wall kitchen it is Orion Nebula from October it's 75% superwash blue face Leicester so what's that SBL or BFL is that this, the lingo for blue face Leicester 25% um, nylon it is four ply fingering weight so there's 100 grams it's 425 meters it says 212 meters on here as well is that meant to be yards i don't know um anyway helen is at the wall kitchen at, on instagram as well as on etsy so they're both the same not sure what that's going to be but i had planned to get a ball from helen because i've got one last year which i call mccaw even though it's really not mccaw um and yes, I mean, seriously, look at the colours. Look at all of that. There's hints of blue, there's pinks, there's greens, there's yellow, there's orange, there's neon, neon pink, purple. There's some white patches, there's some black patches, there's some grey patches. It's, 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 yeah. What else can I say about that? I love it. That's why I bought it. Now, the last full skein that I bought was from Made by Penguins. You may have seen that I got a box of yarn from them before Christmas. Um, or did I order it after Christmas? I can't remember. Anyway. Now I like reds, pinks and purples. So it should be no um, surprise that this is like me in a cake but without the red. I mean come on look. Pinks, purples, blues, there's some teals in there, turquoises. I don't even know what I'm going to make with this, but there we go. And this, so it's from uh, Made by Penguins. There we go. And it is called, this doesn't actually have a name, um, but it's 85% merino and 15% nylon. It is four ply and it was 100 grams, so it's 400 meters. And even better, they were giving away free bags. So all this yarn that I've just pulled out is actually being held and stored in this bag. Which I then promptly put on my back and continue to fill with more stuff. Okay, so the last thing then we got, I picked up some patterns as well. Who are these from? We have... DK Heart Bauble Pattern from Made by Penguins. We've also got Brian, the Made by Penguins Penguin Pattern, because who doesn't want a Brian? And there was a giant Brian as well. You may see a picture of him later. Um, what's this? Wee, Wee Woolly Wonderfuls Baby Bunny Crochet Pattern. That's from, oh, which is Wee Woolly Wonderfuls. I don't actually remember seeing that store, but there we go. That might have been on the same store I picked up the patterns for Brian. Probably made by penguins. So I'm going to have fun making those up because they're just really cute. Um, and that brings us on to the last thing that I got, which is this little one. So this is the second one I got from Hey J Yarn. Um, 
And again, it's 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, 20 grams is 85 meters. And it's quite surprising actually that we picked this one out because it's very similar to this one. There we go. Purples and pinks. Now, if you've seen my fronstral, my um, spellbound fronstral, that's a very similar color to this as well. So there seems to be a theme here. We have these two, we have this one, and we have this one. So those are my four main cakes from the day, which I'm very much looking forward to working up. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the rainbow one in terms of hat pattern yet, but we shall get there. I'm hoping to try and put a lot of my single skein yarns together in one project. Um, also, this one goes somewhat nicer than that it's just a little bit brighter in terms of the pink so all in all we had a very lovely day um we didn't do any workshops we always seem to I say always we've only done once before um we haven't actually done any workshops before at the walk mubby wall show maybe next year we might do that we don't know yet um i guess it all depends what they're actually putting on so the next one that we're looking to go to, we have recently just visited the Knit and the Stitching show, which is now rebranded as the Stitch Festival for the spring. Um, and that was at the Business Design Centre in Islington, but I will put up a separate video for what we got up to there. Um, but in terms of Yarny Festivals, I think EYF is coming up or has been. I'm not very much in the... Uh, up to date shall we say up to date with all of the events going on however louise at fiber lounge the fiber lounge is holding a new event called fiber rocks and it is this year it is actually not that far from home now i visited here a few times it is at the delaware pavilion in bexhill on sea um, and i've been there a few times now to visit someone that my husband knows and i'm actually looking forward i really want to go to this so I'm hoping that all this blows over and because um, this is in June so we've got a couple of months to get through and then I can go and squish some more yarny stuff in June need something to look forward to that's got to be it right so yes that was our trip to the Walker Mabby Wall Show now for us it's actually only about 35 minutes down the M25 um, so we didn't really need to stay over we just wanted to make a, a weekend of it um, but in hindsight I think next time maybe we won't stay over we've done it um, and it was really nice to do that but at the end of the day it's a lot of money and I simply can't afford to do that so it is only half an hour down the road you know we can always go early have breakfast anyway um, and then just wait it out so Anyway, that is what we got up to. Um, not necessarily a major amount of money spent. Yeah, mainly because I didn't have any money. Um, but there we go. So I'm very much looking forward to working these up. I'm going to look for some lovely patterns on Ravelry later and see what I can find for them. Um, yeah, and hope you enjoy the next few lots of mini videos and photos that I took of the day just to show you give you an idea of what it's actually like there one of the rooms in particular does get rather busy but it is the largest room so you have vendors all around the outside plus vendors on the inside of the room whereas in the other rooms you only have vendors on the outside of the room so because they're a lot smaller um so yes it can be a little bit busy which is why I've taken a nice panning shot of the room just to show you how many yarn stalls are actually there um, and give you an idea of what to expect if you were to visit as well um yeah very much enjoyed it so i hope you've enjoyed this video and take a look at the following little clips and pictures and let me know if you've got any plans to visit next year when it is in january and what you are most looking forward to me working with out of this lovely hoard of yarn i'm looking forward to this one um, 
and of course pom 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 <laughs> I will see you all again very soon and thank you for watching bye Ooh, one thing forgot to mention I printed t-shirts or I got t-shirts printed so that we could wear them now what do we think do you want one I've just realized something else I bought a pin badge came a crafting only because they have really cute ones but I mean look look at the sloth look at the little sloth I am very much a slow knitter so the fact that he says slow knitter and he's got a sparkly scarf that he's knitting come on had to buy that didn't I this is last year's Walk and Abbey Wall show back pin badge which I think they have every year now and I bought this one last year from Game of Crafting as well so it be only right that they sit on a bag all together.